Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and in this session we are going to talk about one of the alternative action of traditional workflow in Power Automate. So we have one most popular traditional action in workflow which is wait until the field is non-blank. Now what is the alternative for wait until field is non-blank action in Power Automate? I am going to discuss about that thing in detail over here in this session. So stay tuned throughout this entire session. Now without wasting much time, let's get started. Now first of all, let me explain you what I exactly want to achieve here. So let's say I have taken one sample list over here. I have two different column title and status. Now let's say I just wanted to send email notification about the status and this should only send an email if status value is not blank and my flow should be start on create. So basically my flow will start when item is created in the list and wait until the field is non-blank meaning the status has some value over there. So how can I achieve that? What is the alternative action for wait until field is non-blank in Power Automate? Let me talk about that thing in detail. Now let's move to the Power Automate flow and let me show you what are the alternative for that. So wait until the field is non-blank. If we want to achieve this functionality, basically we need to use do until action in Power Automate. And in do until loop, we need to use delay action. Delay action will call after every one minute and it will call our list to get the items that is created and check whether the field is blank or not. And based on that, it will set variable and come out of this do until loop. So this is the overall logic that we are going to implement. Now let me create from fresh flow and let's get started. So I'm just going to my new browser window and now I'm just creating one simple flow over here. Let's create new flow. I'm just clicking on automated cloud flow. Now let's apply the name of our flow and the trigger action will be when an item is created. Let's just create that. Let's just provide the name of my flow that is wait until. Now I just need to provide the site address. So my site is leave application and from that the list name is issue. Now I just need to define one variable over here. So I'm just initializing one variable. It's a status variable and its value would be string and I'm just initializing its value as status column of this particular list. Now I just wanted to use this particular variable into do until loop because in do until we can't take the directly column value over there. Now we need to use do until the status value is blank. So basically you just need to search for do until Now here we just need to provide the status variable. Status is not equal to blank. Now here you can see that this is disabled at this moment. Now we just need to uh, open that over here and now we just need to use not equal to. What we have done here is we just used not formula just before the equals right. Now it is showing that status is not equal to blank right. So uh, hope you are clear on that part now uh, because it is something which is not available by default. So status is not equal to blank. Now We just need to add delay action in order to pause the thing. So I'm just using delay. Just want to call after each individual single minute over here. But for our testing purpose, I am taking five seconds. So we can easily taste that. But after that, we will change that up to one minute or two minute based on our requirement. How can I check that I'm getting the value in status column or not? 
for that we need to again call one sharepoint action get item so this will again call my sharepoint list so the same list will be called leave application issue list so whichever the item is created we have its id so we are going to pass its id and we will be getting each individual value over there now we will be setting the variable over here set variable so whatever value that we are getting here we will be able to see status value status is the variable and now we just need to have status value from get item so now let's say for an example if the status is available then uh, this will be out from this particular loop and then execute the next action right now what i want to do here is i just done this uh, do until part and now i'm just uh, setting one of the compose variable over here and just printing out the status over there so i'm just using compose action for just a debugging purpose so whatever the status value would be there it will print there so i'm just printing this status value over here now at last i want to send an email if the value is not blank right so i'm just using send an email action let me just provide two value that is my own account now subject is something that status is updated and let's print the status value right now let's save the flow and let's taste the flow so let's say for an example let's do let's create one item here so i'm just creating an item i'm just printing my name and now the status is blank at this moment so i'm just clicking on save now let's check the run of the flow and the flow has ran successfully here now let's check the run the item is created it initialize variable now it is still in do until loop and every 5 second it is calling get item to check like if the value is blank or not now let's say i'm just editing this item and now i'm adding the value meaning the field is not blank now so it should out from the do until loop so i'm just clicking on exit and now let's see what happens so here you can see that the flow ran successfully and it just out from this do until loop so basically it calls the get item for 10 times you can see that and at the 10th occurrence it got the value in the status column right till 9 it doesn't have that value it is blank now uh, once it is out from this particular loop it will send an email notification that status is updated and what is the status value so let's just check the email notification and here we are we have received this particular email and status is approved also one important thing i want to mention here that i am going to provide the export of this flow on my github repository the link is down below in the description box or comment section so so download the template from the github repository so this is how we can implement the alternative for wait until the field is non blank action in power automate so isn't that amazing if you have any question related to this topic you can add your question in the comment section so if you wish to request any other power platform related topic just send your request in the comment section i will happy to prepare the video for the same or if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel i am uploading new videos on power bi power apps power automate power virtual agent teams and sharepoint every day on my youtube channel so don't forget to subscribe my channel stay connected with me on facebook linkedin and twitter also if you wish to receive daily notification about all my new videos on your whatsapp number click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form 
fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification about all my new videos on your whatsapp number also if you wish to listen different power platform related podcast just click on this link it will be redirecting you to the podcast home page from here you can listen your favorite power platform podcast on different podcast platform like google podcast apple podcast spotify and much more this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session have a great day goodbye